happens to be the venue, the right. metal venue, that's right. connected to the bar that anchored in. So we're here in Brooklyn. We are in Brooklyn. What part of Brooklyn are we in? 718 Bushwick. That's right, 718, if you don't know. The role that I know you from is uh, Maria Ruiz. Woo! Very, the new black. very good. Maria Ruiz, that's right. You're playing a part of you know, Maria, Hispanic woman, she's pregnant. Pregnant in jail. You, not the only pregnant inmate. Not the only pregnant inmate. And not the only Hispanic Not the only inmate. Hispanic pregnant inmate because, you know. Your immediate reaction is, wow, what a cliche. Right? Here I am again. But something was different. <laughs> what was different? Um, I think the way we developed Maria, uh, we didn't go with that extreme cliche. Maria is not like this kind of uneducated, weird kind of wild, wildling type thing. I mean, we never know what the stories will reveal, right. but she doesn't carry herself that way. Okay. And I made a point to not make her that way. All right, what can you tell us about season I two? really can't. Yeah, I can't tell you anything. That's what I can will tell you. Will it be more racy? Will it be more risque? Uh, there are some couple, there's a couple hot scenes. Yeah. Okay, all right, good. That's so that's good. something that's not a spoiler, but it's No, but there's also some storylines that I can tell you reading the script we get the emails, you know, like the week before we start shooting, and I like yelled at the computer. I, I slammed it shut. I left. I went for a walk because I couldn't even understand what was going on. I was so upset. Why? Why? Did These it stories you? are freaking intense. These stories go. You won't even believe where they're gonna go. You won't. I can't even say. <laughs> but you have a metal band that's actually played this venue that we're in right now. One of my favorite shows that we've ever played was here. What does metal mean to you? The first time when I heard that heavy music, not just metal, but hardcore punk, that whole, that whole genre of music, it was a freedom that I'd never heard before. It was a passion I'd never heard before. It was an electricity, a vibrance, an energy that, that was uh, unexplainable. It, it came from the heart. How does the Acheron and Anchored In fit into this whole scheme that we're talking about? This place is is one of the few special places in New York where uh, because of this music that we play, you know that you have kind of like this global family. When did you start coming here? Wow, that's a good question. Maybe about three years ago. Three years ago? About then. And why? Why did you start coming here? Uh, my band practices around the corner. Uh, and I don't think that they're trying to make it some kind of glossy version of like some fufu shishi make-believe cosmopolitan place. It's a dirty, I'm stuck to the, I'm afraid to get up because I'm stuck right now. It's a now. little sticky where okay, you're sitting Okay, it's a little right sticky. Now. How does your passion for metal and acting connect? How do they connect? Uh, in the band, with the music, getting to write the music, getting to write words, that comes from a very personal, private place. Those songs change you and touch you and, and become a part of you. So that's what we get to do now. We get to become a part of someone's life on a day-to-day -day basis, and they can attach whatever words, whatever notes we play to their life and make it meaningful to them. So is acting different from you, for you then when you're using other people's words? One comes from me, one comes from someone else. My intention, no matter what I do, it's going to be to express myself and connect. Same with acting. It's going to be to tell a story, and that story hopefully will connect with the viewer. No matter what you choose to do, it's the intention behind it. So for me, that's always my intention, to try to you know, make things better, make a connection with, with other people.